Today is October 1st, which means it is officially fall season. So I am so excited and spending the day today doing all fall activities. And first, I want to go to Starbucks to get my pumpkin drink. And then I also want to go to Trader Joe's to get some fall snacks and maybe check Home Goods for a yummy fall candle. And then I also have been seeing on TikTok people make those little tie knot blankets that you get from joanne fabrics so i think we're gonna also go there to get some spooky little halloween blankets to make which is gonna be fun and yeah this is my new favorite sweater for fall it's just so comfy and it's like this light pink color and i got it from free people and i'm just wearing my skims little tank top underneath because it is kind of low cut but it's just so comfy and i'm obsessed Just got my Starbucks and I got something different this time. Last time I got the iced pumpkin cream chai tea latte, which literally tastes like a pumpkin pie. But this time I got the shaken espresso with the pumpkin cream cold foam on top with almond milk. And it's still so good. It's just like fall in a cup. And I needed some espresso because I'm a little tired, so. This, this will do the job. One thing about me, I don't care if it's snowing out, I'm going to have an iced drink. I do love my hot drinks, but I'm always an iced coffee girly. And today, my car says it's 75 out right now. That's definitely not true, but it is actually hot. I'm like dying kind of in my sweater right now, but it's okay. Espresso is like gonna have me wired for the rest of the day. The best stuff ever. These are so cute. They look like little pumpkins. We definitely did some damage. So I got the gluten-free pumpkin ravioli, and then I also got the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. And then we got rice, cauliflower, and butternut squash risotto. And these chicken chili verde burritos are really good. And then I've been loving this broccoli and kale slaw. It comes with a sweet and creamy dressing that's really good. These you can never go wrong with. I like to pair the gyozas with this vegetable fried rice, or if I'm making like a chicken teriyaki or something. And then I wanted to try their gluten-free mac and cheese as well. These are always good. Some tempura shrimp. They finally had these back in stock, so I had to get these. This I am so excited about, the butternut squash mac and cheese. It's like the best thing ever. I've been wanting to drink more tea, so I got this Harvest Blend. I also got some gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin mix. And then I also got the spooky bats and cats sour gummies, which I'm excited about. And then this pumpkin butternut squash bisque sounded really good. I just love soup in the fall. And then everyone has been raving about this crunchy chili onion, so I'm going to give this a try. I also got these fall leaf corn tortilla chips and I got this fall harvest salsa to go with those and I got pumpkin tortilla chips that would probably also be good with the salsa this is also really good and a healthier option I usually eat that dip with pita bite crackers and then I also got these pumpkin cranberry crisps and then I got this organic fall pasta it's supposed to be butternut squash but they look like little pumpkins so that will be fun and I got this autumnal harvest pasta sauce to go with the pasta that Gretchen Garrity recommended so I'm excited to try that and then I also got this other pasta that looks like fall colors which I thought was fun now we are on our way to home goods and then after that we are going to Joanne fabrics to pick up the stuff to make the blankets
two mugs. I don't know which one to get. They're both so cute. I actually think I'm gonna go with this one. I ended up getting this little cute Snoopy mug from Home Goods, and I also got this candle that is apple spice flavored and it smells really good. That is cute. Here at Halloween right next to Joanne, so we're gonna go in for fun. I was this for Halloween. Oh my god! That's a good one. <laughs> so first you mark out a 4x4 four four square and then in each corner of the blanket you cut a little square. This is the finished blanket and Patty picked out this side and I wanted this side of the cats and it's actually so comfy and it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to but yeah I just tied each one of these little slits individually and 